Hello everyone and welcome back to Better Biomed Channel. I was invited to speak at the annual ISS Solutions team building event, which is held at the beautiful Skytop Lodge in Pennsylvania. As soon as I stepped out of the car, I knew it was going to be an amazing experience. Skytop Lodge was built in 1928 and it's nestled in a mountaintop estate covering 5,500 acres, a beautiful venue for minimum distractions to the real purpose develop stronger ISS solutions teams and future leaders. Every year, except for the last couple due to COVID, ISS solutions flies team members in from around the country to learn about the company, listen to select industry speakers, network with each other, practice team building exercises, and promote a sense of community, which I immediately noticed and enjoyed. ISS solutions is based out of Pennsylvania, but its origins come directly from ECRI's clinical engineering business, which started 50 years ago. ISS must be doing something right, because that small eastern service company now has accounts in many states across the country. I had the opportunity to sit with CEO Peter Brooks to get a little more insight on ISS Solutions' success and his vision for the future. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I have the pleasure of partaking in ISS Solutions Conference, which is an annual affair, isn't it, normally? Well, we'd like it to be, but with uh, COVID, no. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody's excited because this is the first time in a while that they've all gotten together. And uh, it's an educational opportunity along with networking, along with meeting some of their local vendors. So overall, it's a good situation. Uh, I'm sitting down here with Mr. Brooks, who is president and CEO of the company. And uh, we're just gonna go over the business model, where they're gonna go in the future, and some of the details about the company in general. So first off, I wanna cover what type of services does ISS provide? Because it's one of those things where I know that you guys do biomed, but you guys do more than just biomed, right? So we, we do um, biomed, but we also have a pretty substantial uh, imaging service business as well. Okay. Well, I've met a lot of the imaging engineers, and uh, they're very knowledgeable. It's a little intimidating uh, how smart some of these guys really are. And I have also noticed that a lot of these guys are currently all around the country. So I've met some guys from up here in Pennsylvania. Uh, we've got some guys that travel down south, and I was watching the slide presentation earlier, and it shows some of your other regions that you're concentrating on. So your range is expanding, right, currently? So uh, ISS Solutions started as a uh, regional uh, mid-Atlantic service company. We actually started in the 1970s as a for-profit spin-out of what's known as the ECRI Institute today. And then uh, Geisinger, a large health system in Pennsylvania, purchased the uh, company in the 1980s. Okay. Um, so. We have been doing all the uh, service work for Geisinger's hospitals and clinics throughout uh, central and northeast uh, Pennsylvania ever since they, they bought the company. And Geisinger's expanded a lot and we expanded with them. But the, the unique thing about our, our business model here is that we're um, on the what we call the commercial side of our business. We're for profit and we have salespeople and we have imaging and we have uh, biomed technicians all throughout the country at this point in time. So. Yeah, we, we, uh, we span all the, pretty much all the states, not Hawaii, but uh, <laughs> we've got employees in Texas, California. I met one from Montana. Okay. Yep, yep. Congress, I met him too, uh, as well. As well, we're up in New England, uh, down in the south. So, uh, yeah, we're all over the place. Interesting. Now, what do you think are some of the factors that contribute to ISS success? So, uh, I think some of the um, things that uh, um, have, have made our success is that we just you know, we're just hardworking people that uh, have a lot of respect for processes and uh, doing the right thing and, and uh, knowing the business well. We do a lot of training. We support a lot of training for our technicians. That's good. Really good. Um, yep. They, they go to a lot of school, especially on the imaging side. So the imaging engineers or technicians, um, they take a lot of school. Um, from OEMs and third parties as well to be able to uh, to repair and maintain the high-end imaging equipment that we service. Now the interesting thing about that is I've had the pleasure of speaking with probably a dozen or so of the technicians and imaging engineers and one thing is definitely true 
is that almost everybody I've talked to has been here five plus years. So you have a very low turnover rate compared to the industry standard, which I think is about two and a half to maybe three years is the average life for a biomed to be at one establishment. But you guys seem to retain people much longer. Now, other than training, what, what do you think are some of the factors that go along with why you have such a high retention rate? <clears throat> well, I, I think you're going to talk to some of the uh, technicians later, and I think that's a good question for them, actually. So okay. I'm curious what they say. So we, we try and treat our employees fairly and well. We, we pay competitive salaries. Um, one thing we have that's unique, but I don't know if it's why they stay, is we have a bonus program for all employees. 100% of the employees participate in that. Okay. Um, so we carve out a, um, a piece of our profits um, and give it back to the employees at the end of the year. If we do well, they, they get a little more. If we don't do quite as well, they, they get a little less. But uh, yeah, you, you mentioned a lot of employees have been here for a while. I've been here for 18 years myself. Okay, <laughs> wow. So but we're always hiring, so there's always new fresh faces, people I didn't recognize because uh, we've been uh, holed up with the COVID uh, thing for <laughs> quite a while. So I met some new people that uh, I only met electronically. I got to see them for the first time here at the conference. <clears throat> well, I was just sitting down with another gentleman just moments before this, and he was noting also all the new faces. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a lot of old familiar faces, but they're growing, it's expanding as a company. Yep. But So here's the next one. Where do you see ISS in the near future? So our, our goal is to grow um, just on a regular basis. We don't have any um, you know, lofty goals of uh, selling the company or going public or something like that. We're owned by Geisinger, which, uh, again, is a large health system here in Pennsylvania. They're going to be here. They've been here for 100 years. Uh, um, they're planning on being around for the next 100 years. So we know that we've got work to do to service our parent organization for a long time to come. And part of our charter is just to generate for-profit business outside of Geisinger as the best we can. So we're more of a steady and slow growth um, proposition than we are any kind of a fancy financial model or something like that. So we acquire a company every now and then when one seems to uh, fit the culture of, of, uh, of who we are. I think we've acquired uh, three or four HTM um, companies at this point in time. Uh, we also acquired a, an IT business, actually. And okay. I think one of the things that was talked about at the conference was the importance of biomed technicians um, learning more about um, IT and getting some IT certification. I completely there. agree. So, uh, yeah, we, we have an IT business. We brand it separately. It's called Paradigm Technology Consulting. It's not quite as big as our HTM business, but it's substantial. Also national in scope, we focus on uh, um, installing and customizing um, financial systems for small, medium-sized businesses. We uh, do network design. Um, we do uh, depot repair of hardware. We do uh, server maintenance. Um, we have a um, 24 by 7, seven days a week uh, call center. Oh, and, uh, wow. Okay. I did um, mention, I, I heard somebody <coughs> mention that earlier. That's, that's yeah. pretty... Impressive. Call center is interesting too because when the pandemic came, it was uh, based in a in a facility, and then we changed it to a work from home model, and it worked so well because we thought it was for a month, and then it was for three months, and then it was for two years. Wow! Um, that we decided to get rid of the facility, so now the call center. Um, it's really rare. People in this they industry. come in kind of as needed for training and that type of thing. Other than that, it's now home based. Wow! So mm -hmm. one of the other things that I want to point out is that it takes an amazing amount of investment into the people to fly so many people into an establishment like this, put them up, there's some team building activities. I mean, everybody's having a good time and it takes a lot of initiative to make that happen. And that is probably part of the retention is that a lot of these people, they do feel like it's a family type environment and a lot of people know each other from other states, which is actually kind of unheard of. But uh, so, it's been a really interesting situation here with ISS because they're like a diamond in the rough when it comes to a small company who's growing very quickly and the fact that they're doing something very right to have the employee retention, employee satisfaction. I seen some of their scores this morning were pretty impressive on the slideshow. And uh, I just wanna say going forward, 
this is going to be one of those companies that you're going to want to keep an eye on because they're actually doing a lot of things right. So, Mr. Brooks, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Justin. I do appreciate this. And, guys, we are going to have more footage on this event coming forward. They're, they got a lot of activities planned for the people, and there's two groups of people that are showing up. So part of them showed up uh, yesterday and today, and then the other group is going to be showing up tomorrow. So, like I said, there, there's a lot of commitment and investment into the people in order to make this happen, and they are definitely doing something right. Josh is joining me here from Montana, I believe? Correct. And we're at the ISS convention, and I would like to ask him a few questions about his tenure with ISS Solutions. So the number one question is, how long have you been with the company? Justin, I started with ISS Solutions in January of 2018. I've been with them for four and a half years now. Four and a half years. Now, the national average for retention is about two to two and a half years. Four and a half years. And this is going to be a common trend. You guys are going to see this. Now, why is it that you chose to stay for four and a half years? Uh, four and a half years and going, uh, they have treated uh, the staff consistently very, very well. We have opportunities for growth, opportunities for expansion, the support at the management level all the way up to the CEO of the company. Uh, everybody carries value, everybody's important. And what's your specialty? I specialize in respiratory and anesthesia. Okay, really? And you are in Montana, but you don't just stay in Montana, do you? That's negative. I actually, I'm the supervisor for the West region, okay. which includes Washington State, Oregon, California, Montana, Idaho, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Colorado. That's a, that's a big region. Yes, it is. Geographically that's an insanely large. large region. And the last question I got for you, or what are your plans for the future? Because obviously if you stay for four and a half years, you have to have some sort of idea going forward, so what's yours? I do, we have a lot of great opportunities that are on the horizon. Uh, I don't want to be overly specific because okay, understood. there's some things that uh, don't, don't have to share quite just yet, but um, I have personal goals that are being engaged. Okay. I have, we have business opportunities and the main goal is to achieve an, exce an exceptionally well-balanced work-life environment, which I already have. Wow, and that's, the goal I think that most of us are trying to achieve and maybe with your current company you're not getting that satisfaction in life and career so going forward I'm going to be working with ISS Solutions and if they have job opportunities I'm going to be posting them on my LinkedIn site and you guys if you see it please just raise your hand speak up and say that you'd like to be part of the team all right thanks Thank Josh. You, Justin appreciate it uh, I've been with ISS for nine years I'm uh, Paul Monahan my current position is Director of Quality at ISS Solutions. All right. I've been in the business for 46 years. Wow. And uh, I've been with ISS Solutions for five years. My name's Joel McIntyre. Uh, I'm a supervisor at Geisinger Medical Center in Danville, PA. Okay. Um, I've been with the company for 12 years now. Uh, Randy Lowers. I've been in the business for 25 years. Been with UA, or, uh, been with ISS for a year and a half. Hi, Justin. I'm Barbara McGuire. I'm vice president for HTM. I've been with ISS Solutions for a little over 10 years now, okay. and I'm looking forward to staying a lot longer. Um, I love the energy and the autonomy that we encourage with all of our employees to really take care of their customers locally. I look forward to continuing to support my team and give them what they need to provide the best service. Solid, solid answers. And you, sir? I'm Dan Jones. 
Um, uh, this is my second go around with ISS. Okay. I was here in '77, worked for 15 years. This is before I was born. <laughs> and then uh, started my own business, ran it for 10 or 15 years, and then came back to the system. Um, expected to retire very shortly. Okay. Well, excellent. First question I have for you is, how long have you been with the company? I've been with ISS for 11 years. 11 years. What's your specialty? I'm a manager for one of the national accounts. Okay. And 11 years is extremely long. Uh, what do you like about the company to keep you here that long? I like the fact that senior management trusts operational management to run the account the way they see fit. That's good answers. Yep. David Arell, I've been with ISS going on five years. I'm a field service biomed technician with some emphasis on respiratory and ventilators. So what about you, sir? How long have you been with the company? I've been with ISS for about six months now. Okay. So what caused you to come here to ISS? Uh, the company I was working for for the last 12 years was acquired by ISS. Okay. It seems like it's going to open up a lot of opportunities for me that I didn't have with the prior company because we were smaller. Wow, those are good answers because it is a growing company. I definitely see that. And uh, uh, with events like this, I mean, what other companies do stuff like this? Not very many. But how do you like it so far? So far, it's been great. Excellent. Thank you. All right. What about you, sir? All right. I've been with the company for about 10 months now. Um, the two things I like the most are probably the leadership and benefits. Okay. Compared to the last place I worked, I was there for about 10 years. Benefits are way better. You get more time off. You get better pay. So, I mean, who doesn't like that? And as far as leadership, anytime I've talked to them, they've always been responsive and taken care of my needs. And I can't ask them much more than that. So, my name is Jim. I've been with uh, ISS for almost six years now. Okay. Um, and the main reason I'm still here is that I think the organization recognizes people's skills and talent. My name is Justin Roniker. I've been part of the company for 15 years now. Hey guys, I found my next victim. Hey sir, who are yes. you and how long have you been with ISS? My name is Jerome Heenahan. I've been with ISS going on seven years now at this point. Why do you ask? <laughs> seven years. Guys, do you know that the average retention for a biomed is about two and a half years? I had no idea of that. Well, you wouldn't if you're working for a good company. If you work for a bad company, you'd be well aware of the national average.
Wow. What um, an amazing event. And furthermore, what an amazing venue. I'm on top of a mountain, on top of this giant, beautiful hotel. And all I can say is, this has probably been one of the best events of my entire career, easily. I met some of the best people. I've had some amazing conversations with people, some really motivated people. The management, they really know how to manage. They understand that it's more so about the people than the mission. Because without the people, you don't have a mission. And I've had some real good conversations with some people that really, really know how to manage. So I'm in the top of Skytop Lodge. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's a little bit chilly out, but uh, this is gorgeous, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look around. It's getting a little windy. We're way up on top of the hill. You can look down over the top. Absolutely gorgeous. I get this beautiful sunset view. We're nestled here in the mountains, the Appalachian Mountains. They say that there's 5,500 acres here. And I completely believe it. How amazing is this? What a perfect venue, guys. Couldn't have asked for much more. That's for sure. There's so many little activities going on. There's putt-putt. There's bowling, like proper English bowling. There is a cornhole. You've obviously got swimming. There's actually uh, there's a round of golf. There's archery. How amazing is this? Absolutely breathtaking, guys. Anyway, this is closing for the event. And uh, I don't even know what will ever top this. <laughs> so I hope if you guys ever have the chance to uh, look into joining the ISS team, I would do so. These people have been like family, not just to themselves. I watch them razzing each other and laughing and joking and having a good old time together. But uh, they've also been like family to me. And I'm the outsider. How crazy is that? So I, I don't even have words for it, to be honest. All I can tell you is that it's a good group of people. They have a solid mission. And... They fly their people up to events like this for team building. How many companies ever do that? It's unheard of, especially in today's medical market. But it does matter. I've watched a transition of old friends get together because they haven't had this event in several years. And uh, you can just watch it from the beginning to the end. And I hope the videos that I release about this event kind of convey that is that these people, they, uh, they definitely, mo most of them knew each other from a long time because ISS Solutions, they have a high, high tenure rate. I mean, most people that I've talked to have been in ISS for five to 20 years, 30 years, some of them 40 years. And then they get together at events like this and you know they haven't seen each other in years. It's like old times, so it's been amazing. But uh, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna release a lot more videos about ISS and their mission, along with some details about this event. And uh, hopefully I do it justice for how beautiful it really was. Thanks for watching, guys.